So basically we're painting a picture when we have this soul-based quality within us of a life where we are embracing uh, change. Mm -hmm. We're not manufacturing our lifestyle to be comfortable. No. We're actually saying, okay, this is an infinite process I'm engaged in. There's no end point really. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just engage with every situation, uh, allow confrontation to happen because I understand it's going to have to happen continually actually mm -hmm. as truth confronts the error inside of me mm -hmm. and um, I'll and, be... and remember that only this is only happening until we're at one with love so so it's the love or the lack of it that causes our pain mm -hmm. not the lack of truth mm -hmm. and this is a I feel a very important thing that people need to understand it's the lack of love or the past experience of the lack of love in our lives that causes our pain. It's not the lack of truth in our life that causes pain. Mm -hmm. Because at all points of time, pain is caused mm. um, through only the ex lack of experience of love. So you can be in total disharmony with truth, but have a, be in a loving environment surrounding you and being in harmony with love yourself and therefore everything would be happy. You'd have no pain. Right. How can I be in harmony with love if I don't have any truth? Well, eventually you have to bring yourself in harmony with truth as well, obviously. That's a part. The two, and, and this is another quality. Remember, all of these qualities are not, um, they're not one or the other. So what we're doing here is discussing one facet of one quality. Yeah. Right? And what I'm saying with this facet of this quality is that we are allowed to be out of harmony with truth as long as we're loving. Mm -hmm. God's laws all work this way. They allow us to be out of harmony with truth. So we can become at one with God in love and still be out of harmony with truth, with all of the truths of the universe. Not all of them, obviously. <laughs> we could be out of harmony with many. We're going to be out of harmony with a large variety of truths in the universe, not all of them, because we'd have already brought ourselves into harmony with the truths that need to be taught to become at one with God in, in love. In love, yeah. yeah. Sure. So, so we need to draw the definition of, like, and the distinction that we need to have truth to become more loving, but there is a point once we become at one with God in love and we've absorbed the truth that allows us to get to that point, from that point on, there will be no pain because from that point on, we still will be out of harmony with all universal truth, or most of it, because universal truth is infinite. Mm -hmm. So God allows us to be out of harmony with truth, but the universal laws do not allow us to be out of harmony with love. And we need to draw that distinction. Sure. And you're also saying that the truth that exposes the error creates pain because it's exposing the truth that we have not been in a situation where love was present. Yes, basically I'm saying that it's not the truth that creates the pain. No. It's the error that resided within that we thought was true, that the betrayal of that that creates the pain. The pain. Yeah. So the pain is actually created by the error-based position, not by the truth position. Mm -hmm. And the error-based position was caused by an unloving event. In, in other words, we can have a truth or an error, sorry, we can have an error inside of us that wasn't caused by any event that was unloving. It was just something that we thought. We will have no pain getting rid of it once we see the truth. Yes. The only truths that will, the only errors that we'll have pain in getting rid of will be the ones that had an emotional signature associated with a lack of love. Mm -hmm. And these are the ones that are going to cause pain. And so we need to understand that pain might be a process, but it's only a finite process. Until we become at one with God in love, then from that moment on, being at one with God in love, there is no error within us from the point of view of truth that will be painful to release because we're at one in love. Okay. Okay. 